about a less controversial program, I guess, at the moment? Let's head on up to the Inferno for what they call the Chisco. It's a top 25 battle on the red turf between the Idaho Vandals and the Eastern Washington football team. Uh, the Vandals trying to get their first win over the Eagles since 1994. Yeah, they led 14 to 7 early in this one. EWU did, but Giovanni McCoy has an answer in the red zone. A wide open Alex Moore for the touchdown. But I'll tell you what, the rest of the game, the Vandals were leaning on their rushing attack. Get to know number five, because you're going to see him a lot. Anthony Woods rushed for 183 yards and a mind melting five touchdowns, the second most by a Vandal in school history. That right there was my favorite TD on the day. Look at him throwing down the stiff arms as he bounces outside, following some great blocks from his teammates. Now, he didn't get a touchdown on the day, but we got to give a shout, shout out to the Rocky Mountain High School alum Nick Romano. 129 rushing yards. It's Idaho's first game with two different 100-yard rushers since back in 2004. They needed all of it. Idaho would go on to win a close one, 44-36. The fourth-ranked Vandals moving up to 4-1 and one on the year on the back of a great rushing attack. Uh, Anthony Woods, uh, you know, that's, that's a fine, fine of a game as you'll have to see a college football player have. Uh, Nick Romano ran his tail off. I'm so proud of him, uh, to, you know, because he, uh, in this era, you don't see a lot of guys who would do what he did. Last year, he was kind of our fifth string tailback and uh, didn't get a lot of carries, but played hard on special teams, didn't, didn't pout, didn't transfer, and now, you know, he has a 100 yard game and a big conference game on the road. It feels good. I mean, I say, yeah, we just keep feeding off each other and we're going to keep going for 100 plus.